Hi, I'm Chris Michaelek, president of Parkway Tech. Today we're going to look at what you should look for when you're looking for a new computer and to replace, frankly, outdated junk like this. Hi there. If you're trying to make sense of your computer purchase and <clears throat> get rid of junk like this, well, we've got a solution. Let me walk you through some steps here to make sure you get the most value out of your computer purchase possible for your business. Now we're going to start with desktops, although we'll talk about laptops here in a minute. Desktops are real simple since we don't have anything other than just the tower to talk about. So for desktops, for our brain of our system, that's the processor, we want an Intel Core series processor. That's Intel Core i3 or Core i5. That'll suit most businesses just fine. We don't have to worry about anything else, gigahertz, anything like that. Obviously, some people would say the faster the better. I'm going to tell you that unless you're doing things like video editing, photo editing, CAD work, that sort of thing, you don't need to worry. Just go ahead and get an Intel Core i3 or Core i5 processor that'll take care of you. Now for memory, which is our short-term storage and allows us to basically have more open at once without slowing down the computer, we want at least 8 gigabytes of memory. If you can get a special on a computer with 16 gigabytes, that's great. 8 gigabytes for the vast majority of you will do it just fine. If you really need something, say, really slow for somebody that, you know, occasionally has a web browser open and that's about it, four gigabytes will get you by in a pinch. But ideally, eight gigabytes is what you want for memory. Now for storage, which is where we're going to keep all our files, put our programs, we want the best right there because otherwise it'll be slow. So we don't want a mechanical drive in our system. We want what's called an SSD, stands for Solid State Drive. Now what those do is those are very high speed drives and are almost as fast as the memory in your computer, which is your really high speed storage. So with an SSD, we want 256 gigabytes of storage in our SSD. We could go more, we could go less, but 256 gigabytes should be sufficient most business computers we see nowadays, you think you're going to use a lot of storage, but you really don't. Most business computers use about 40 to 60 gigabytes of their space on their computer. That's it. So 256. Now, the last thing to talk about is the operating system on this thing. You're going to go into Staples or Best Buy and you're going to see all these computers and that's great. But for a business computer, you need to avoid those places. Why? because they've got Windows Home additions for the operating system, and that's a big problem. You need Windows 7 Professional or Windows 10 Professional on your business computer system. It provides additional features, additional security measures, and depending on your business network, if you've got a server, Home won't even hook up to it without some massive workarounds that you don't want to go into. So make sure to get a computer with Windows 7 Professional or Windows 10 Professional on it. Now we've covered desktops. Let's talk about laptops. I wish I would have done this video last week when I had some great examples in the office here, but unfortunately I had to deliver those to clients. So I'm just going to try to explain it to you. For laptops, there's not much else to know. The specifications we talked about for desktops are the same for laptops. However, laptops have this extra wrinkle. There's what's called a two-in-one laptop. Some manufacturers call them convertibles. And what that allows your computer to do is your laptop can turn into a tablet. The screen can fold back and become a touch screen. And while it's a little bit bulky as a tablet, it sure beats having two devices out there. So for the vast majority of our clients, we're recommending these two-in-one laptops. The only reason you would not get one of these is if you need the absolute best performance possible because two-in-ones, because they're smaller, don't have absolute top-of-the-line performance. Although, trust me, most of you, there's no way you're going to notice that. And the other reason you wouldn't want to go ahead and get a two-in-one is if you need the maximum screen real estate because these go up to usually about 13 inches and you've got laptops now going 15 to 17 inch screens but these two and ones they just they have next to no bulk your average laptop like the one behind me here is five to six pounds well guess what these new two and ones are two to three pounds that's half it's just amazing they're fantastic systems 
they're great performers and that's absolutely what we recommend now if for some reason you need a traditional laptop go ahead and get one uh, you're looking usually about a 15 inch screen 14 to 15 inches is what they come with one advantage is if you need a DVD drive in your laptop most people have done away with that we've gone all digital but if you need that you're gonna have to have a standard laptop two-in-ones don't have that unless you want to carry around a USB CD or DVD drive there with you now what can you expect to pay for these beauties Remember, ours are specced a little bit higher than the specials you're going to see advertised in your Sunday papers, and they're going to have that Windows 7 or Windows 10 Professional. So that does cost a little bit more, but trust me, it's worth it. So for a desktop, I'd pay about six to $800 for an average business desktop. If you need a CAD workstation, something really special, expect to pay quite a bit more, but again, those are edge cases. For a laptop two-in-one, about 800 to 1,000, and for a standard laptop, six to 800 again, just like our desktops. That's a good range to pay. Now, keep in mind these prices are not going to include Microsoft Office in most cases unless you get a great special. So if you need that, you're going to need to add that cost in if you don't have that through, say, Office 365 or something like that. But that's all you need to know about computer systems and buying a great one for your business. Now, I realize we went over quite a bit in this video, so it's going to be easy to keep track of, maybe in a visual format that you can just read through. So go to our website, parkwaytech.com slash recommended dash PC. Parkwaytech.com slash recommended dash PC is where we're going to have this guide. And the other advantage of this guide is not just that you can read through it at your leisure and not have to pause the video to take notes here, but that it's going to be updated. So if you see this video in a few months, my directions, what I recommend may be a little outdated, but that guide will always be up to date. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, would you do me a big favor? Would you go ahead and share it on whatever social media platform you're on, Facebook, if you're on YouTube, maybe send somebody the link that you think would benefit from this? I want to get this information out to the most people to help the most people. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to have more videos coming up. I'd love your feedback on what you'd like to see covered. So leave us a comment and let us know what you want to see us cover in these videos next. This stuff's for you guys, and we want to make it the most valuable possible. I'm Chris Michalek, president of Parkway Tech. Thank you so much for watching.